My name's Raf Rashid, aka the Snack Boss. I love um, 80s ghetto blasters and boom boxes and beat boxes. You had it on your shoulder and you were like booming. You were booming the town out and it was like, oh wow, this is sick. The original idea was to have speakers in there too and really pound the beats out, but I couldn't, I could only have a kitchen or, a, uh, or the beat box. So yeah, the inspiration was basically just 80s ghetto blasters. I really just wanted to cook a hamburger um, at music festivals. So we built the first um, hamburger truck in Australia. That was in 2009 and went out there and started grilling hamburgers and never didn't, didn't stop, kept going. We came out and it was all about grass-fed beef, basically for us and cooking something that we were really proud of. We outlined a plan and we stuck to that, but it's still the same plan that we have today is high quality ingredients, good, good amount of skill and good customer service. And that's, that's basically what we still do. So in 2021, we have six trucks, three beatbox kitchen trucks, three taco trucks, a standalone beatbox shop, and another standalone shop called Juanita Peaches. Day to day we work um, as a catering business um, and we also hold down three or four nightly spots around Brunswick, St Kilda. Basically work anywhere. I guess the inspiration was America then, then crossed with um, the old school Australian hamburger. So the fish and chip shop hamburger. And then in the middle is where, we, where I feel like we sort of met. I basically only sell two, two burgers. The Raff burger is the original burger. You know, we're, we're not going for a super, super rich over the top hamburger here. We've got more chuck steak in that blend, still around the 80-20. And then the, the burger that we have at Winita Peaches is more brisket forward, so it's, it's gonna be richer. Um, in both patties, we use uh, a lot of suet fat. This has a really, really good melt point, and it's gonna mean that the burger doesn't shrink up. It's not gonna start this big and finish this big. The Raff burger is the original burger, lettuce, tomato, a very, very mellow based mayo sauce and then thin slices of red onion, grilled beef, and Gouda cheese. It's like the trusted fish and chip shop burger. That's what I love about it. The second burger that we make, this is like the quintessential cheeseburger. Potato bun, which is built for steaming. So we can get a lot of steam in there and create a texture that is super, super soft without falling apart. We then have the beef um, seasoned with black pepper and coffee and salt which really brings out the umami of the beef like nothing else. Topped with American cheese, topped with comfy onions that mix, get mixed through a mayo-based burger sauce. Three or four pickles, depending on the size. Unbelievable. My, my top three go-tos for hamburgers. Make sure that if you, your uh, beef has a good ratio with your bread. Don't make the patty too fat, but be sure to salt your beef well. The third one, don't go over the top with sauce. You know, we dump sauce on everything, it's ridiculous. It'll kill the flavor of the beef. I love tacos, they're, 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 they're the best. This taco, we've taken some flank um, and we've slowly braised it. Uh, we've taken it on the truck and we've chopped it up. So we're, we're finishing it on the hot plate. We chopped it up and we've got a corn tortilla. We're gonna melt some cheese through that and get some nice um, kind of burnt bits of cheese off the grill. We're gonna pull it all together with a couple of homemade salsas, salsa verde, salsa roja, and some uh, white onion and coriander to finish. <laughs>